breakdown on how to utilize this campaign request form that will go directly to our customer service team. Again, this is super helpful to utilize while I am out so that they can get whatever fundraising campaigns you need done. So once you click the link, it's gonna take you over to this page. You're going to wanna include your email, the name of your fundraising consultant. So go ahead and click my name, Emily. So we'll go ahead and just put mine for now so that I can show you how to fill it out. The full name of your organization. So the way that it is listed on your Cuddly account, we'll go ahead and just put the Cuddly demo account. And then you're going to want to decide between a new campaign or a revision of an existing campaign. What this means is if you've already gone ahead and created the fundraiser, but you're looking for it to be optimized. So that just means, you know, giving the story a little bit of a rewrite in the sense of fixing formatting issues, making it flow a little bit better, fixing the title, so on and so forth. You, but you have already created the fundraiser. So there's a link associated to it. If that's the case, then you'll go ahead and click the revision of an existing campaign. Once you click next, you're going to want to paste the link of that fundraiser here, or what you can do is you can just write the name of the animal, who it was, because you've already put your, your organization's name. So our customer service will know which fundraiser you're talking about if you're able to just put the name of it, but putting a link would be best just to ensure that the correct one is edited. When you scroll down, you're going to decide what you want to be fixed. So do you want them to revise the title a little bit, give the story a little bit of a rewrite in the sense of fixing formatting and so on and so forth and grammatical issues if there are any. If you want a wish list to be added, you can click this or if you have some more photos that you want them to add for you or if you have videos you want them to add for you because I know you have to upload them to YouTube first and I know some of you guys are not able to access that. So if you have videos or photos that were not able to be added this time around when you made it, you can add them here. So click whatever applies, but you don't have to click all of them. And then you can decide if you would like it done by end of business day or urgent. End of business days mean really means at least 24 hours. Please allow the team at least 24 hours to get these done. Again, as I mentioned, I'm going to be out of the office, so they are going to be covering for me. So they'll have a lot more on their plate than normal. And then urgent. Please err with caution when choosing the urgent button. I know it may be... Just, just use your best judgment. If it's an urgent campaign in the sense of the animal is really on the brink, it's so dire, go ahead and click urgent. But essentially what will happen is if you do click the urgent button, your campaign will move up the queue and it will be the first one that they do in the queue. But remember that we do have many, many other rescues that we are helping that also have some similar situations. But again, if the situation is dire, please don't hesitate to click the urgent button. If there's any more additional details that you're needing to add or want added to the story, you can put that there and they will go ahead and integrate that into the story. This is where you can drop your additional content. You'll just click add file and then you'll click your browse button. You can go through your photos and add whatever you need to add. And then all you have to do is click submit and then it will be sent to our team and you can click this, send me a copy of my responses to ensure that you received it as well. And that's how you would do it for an optimization. This would be a revision of an existing campaign. Now for a completely new campaign, one that has not yet been made, you click this new campaign and it's going to take you over to this page where it's going to ask you a few more questions so that our team can fully write a very well-written fundraiser for you. You're going to want to include the name of the animal. Um, if you don't have a name of the animal for right now just make one up for the time being we can always go back and change it but it's always super beneficial to at least have a name in there donors do respond better to animals with actual names versus say this puppy or this dog so yeah just keep that in mind but again we can always change it later on go ahead and enter a goal amount so whatever that you know animal needs to cover their vet bills their care whatever also Anything that you put down here, we can change it later on. So this can just be a placeholder. If you don't have vet bills yet, you just put whatever number you think it might be. Then right here, you're going to decide if you want a monetary and wishlist campaign just a or just a monetary only campaign. Go ahead and ignore this wishlist only fundraiser. It's not really applicable to anybody um, that will be utilizing this form. So you're either going to decide if you want it to include both monetary and wish list or just monetary only. So that means no wish list will be created with this fundraiser. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out just so I can get to the end for you guys. So fluffy and then and then your wish list shipping address. Please type out the entire address that you would like items to be sent to just so that we can ensure that 
there's no mistakes made, that it's super clear where these items are going to go to. The last thing we want to do is have items being shipped to the wrong address because of a little um, mistake or anything like that. So please, if it's if you don't mind just entering the whole entire address um, of where you would like items to be shipped to. If you have any vet bills or estimates for the animal, please input that here. Uh, if you don't, no worries. It's not a required field. But again, if you do have it, great. Please add it. Right here, you're going to attach any photos or videos you might have of the animals. So we only allow up to 10 photos right here. You may run into an issue where a file of video is too large. If you do get that little pop-up, go ahead and email our customer service, which is success at cuddly.com. And you can email that video right over to them. Again, it's success at cuddly.com. But anyway, so you'll attach whatever photos and videos you have up to 10. And then you're going to come down here to the most important part of this entire thing, which is where you're going to provide the entire backstory for this animal. So like it says, please use as much detail as possible. So that includes what happened to the animal, where they came from, what their medical ailments are, what their treatment plans are, what their prognosis is, anything and everything that you think might be valuable for a donor to know, please, please include it because the more information that our customer service team has, the better they can make their your campaign, the more well-rounded it will be, and just overall, the more, the more successful it will be. Don't feel like you're adding too many details. The more, the better. Please remember that. Right here, if you are adding a wish list to your fundraiser, you're going to go ahead and write any required items you want for this animal. So if you use a specific food, if the animal cannot have chicken, if you want some Kong products or you want to make sure that you get beds or blankets or supplements, please outline that here. Otherwise, our customer service team is going to just add products that they see fit that might be applicable for this animal's care. They have some pretty, they have great judgment on how that works. But again, if you have items that you want specifically, please input that here. If there's any last minute details that you or notes that relates to the animal campaign, say for example, there's some information that you know needs to be left out because maybe there's an ongoing investigation or something along those lines, please make that clear for our team so that they understand what's going on. And then again, you have two options, end of business day and urgent. Please use your best discretion to decide which one you're going to click. End of business day, please at least allow 24 hours, at least 24 hours for them to work on this for you. And then urgent, you know, if it's super, super urgent, it will move to the top of our queue. So I'm going to click the next button. I'll have to just upload something so that I can show you guys what you need to do next. So we'll go ahead and upload that. As you can see, it uploads here. And then once it's done, it's right there. I'm going to come down here to the next button. And this is super important. Make sure after you click next that you are clicking this submit button. If you're not clicking the submit button, they are not going to receive it. So you have to click the submit button to for it to go through. Once you click submit, it will go to our customer service team and they will be able to work on it for you. So that is how to utilize this form. 